Let's look at the solutions of number system bytes. If the value of a two digit number increases by 75% when the order of the digits is reversed, then how many such two digit numbers are possible? Okay, let's have a two digit number. It will look something like 10A plus B, where A is non zero. B can be anything from zero to 10. This is a standard notation form, we should know. And its value is increasing by 75%. It was itself 100%, and it is increasing by 75%. So, can I say the value is getting multiplied by 7 by 4 when the digits are reversed? This expression should come to us instinctively, which gives us 70A plus 7B is equal to 40B plus 4A or 66A is equal to 33B or A by B is equal to 1 by 2. So finally, we end up getting the ratio of digits involved. The leading digit and the units digit should be 1 is to 2. So possible cases are 1, 2. 2, 4, 3, 6, and 4, 8. Beyond this, we cannot go because 10 is not a single digit. So the answer to this question will be 4. Next, what is the greatest three-digit value of 10 such that n is a multiple of 2, n plus 2 is a multiple of 5, and n plus 5 is a multiple of 9? Such questions are best solved or best to easier for us if we have options available. Unfortunately, this is a theta question. So we'll have to do a skill called combining. About n, we know it is a multiple of two or a 2k kind of number. n plus two is a multiple of five, means that n itself is a five n plus three kind of number. When you add two to it, it will become a multiple of five. Similarly, n plus five is a multiple of nine means n, the original n, is five, 9m plus 4 kind of number because if I add 5 to it, it will become a multiple of 9. And now I have to combine these three families of numbers. I can only combine families two at a time. So 2k and 5n plus 3. I have to identify a number that leaves a remainder of 3 upon division by 5 and is divisible by 2. The easiest such number to identify, hopefully you can see, is 8 itself. And that number will exist after every LCM of 2 and 5. Every 10 n plus 8 kind of number. Every 10 n plus 8 kind of number. A number that upon division by 10 leaves a remainder of 8. Be it 8, be it 18, be it 28, be it 38. All of them will follow both these families. And now I have to combine these two. 10 n plus 8 and 9 n plus 4. Okay. While combining these, I have to simply identify. See, 10 n plus 8. The unit digit here is definitely going to be it. Unit digit is going to be it. So now, can I say, essentially, I'm looking for a case where some multiple of 9 leaves a unit digit of 4. And I know which multiple of 9 leaves a unit digit of 4. It is 54. So when I combine these two, I will get 90n LCM of 10 9 plus 58. That is 9 into 6, unit digit of 4 plus 4 or 10 into 5 plus 8, 58. Look at this number. It is satisfying all these properties. It will definitely be even. If I add 2 to it, it will become a multiple of 5. If I add 5 to it, it will become a multiple of 9. So the kind of number we are seeking, the kind of number we are seeking is represented by 90n plus 58. This process is called combining. Now, we are asked, what is the such a greatest three-digit value of n? Simple, we can happily replace this n by 10 to get to the largest three digit value. So 90 into 10 plus 58, the answer to the question will be 958. Next, S is a four digit perfect square. If each of the digits of S is increased by three, the new number formed is T and T is also a perfect square. Find the product of digits of S. So I'm saying let the four digit number be ABCD and I'm adding three digit to each of these. Essentially, I'm adding to it 3,333. When I'm adding 3,333 to it, I reach a new number. Let me call it MNOP. I know this is a perfect square 
and i also know this is a perfect square so i am saying let me call this a and let me call this b can i say a min sorry let me call this a square and let me call this b square a square minus b square is equal to 3 3 3 3 additionally what do we know about a and b see a number which has its perfect square is a four digit number if you are a number and your perfect square is a four digit number you will lie in the range 32 to 99 31 has a perfect square uh, has the perfect square value of 361 32 has it at 1024 it is the smallest four digit perfect square and 99 has the largest four digit perfect square called 9801 so a and b will necessarily lie within this range a and b will necessarily lie within this range okay so paying attention now look at this if a square minus b square is this of course i can break it down into a minus b into a plus b now my work has to be to break down this 3333 into two factors into two factors such that one of them turns out to be the sum of two numbers and the other one turns out to be the product of two numbers the simplest pair that you can potentially see is 3 into 1111 hopefully everyone can see this but when you do 3 into 1111 can you see the smaller number will of course be difference the larger number will be some can two numbers from within this range add up to give me 1111 no this will not work the other pair hopefully that you can see is 33 into 101 can two numbers within this range add up to give me 101 very much so can two numbers within this range have a difference of 33 very much so so if i operate with the idea a plus b and a minus b is equal to 101 and this is equal to 33 i get 2a is equal to 134 or a is equal to 67 correspondingly b will be equal to b will be equal to 34 because a minus b is equal to 33 so if b is 34 if b is 34 b square is 34 square 34 square is 1156 finally the question asks me find the product of the digits of s so s okay i have taken b and a which was unnecessary this was s and this was t this number here was s this number here was t s has turned out to be 1156 product of digits of s 1 into 1 into 5 into 6 has to be d now see as soon as i found an acceptable pair i dropped anchor and i decided this is where i have to go because all the four options are precise had there been an option of cannot be determined i would have checked for more pairs but as soon as i reach the identifying pair here and all four options are precise i don't need to check if more cases can be made if more cases can be made then the question is wrong everyone will get full marks if more cases cannot be made then i have found the acceptable answer okay next question for how many integral values of x is x square minus 6x plus 25 divided by x square minus 6x plus 9 a prime number okay let's see x square minus 6x plus 25 by x square minus 6x plus 9 this is happening okay if this is the case if this is the case can we see can we see that uh, the numerator at the top instead of writing 25 i can write it as plus 9 plus 16 which now translates to 1 plus 16 by x square minus 6x plus 9 and even the expression at the bottom this is very simple hopefully is recognized this is x minus 3 whole square 1 plus 16 by x minus 3 whole square so now factors of 15 uh, factors of 16 are 16 8 4 2 and 
but within these factors we only care for those factors that are perfect squares because i know 16 is getting divided by x minus 3 whole square so starting with the case where x minus 3 whole square is equal to 16 which would mean x minus 3 is either equal to 4 or is equal to minus 4 in which case x will be equal to either 7 or minus 1 either 7 or minus 1 in any case in any case can you see because i've got two cases here i would now have the this gives me the value of expression as 7 minus 3 as 5 and this also gives me value of expression as 5 in both these cases the value of expression turns out to be 5 which is awesome for me now let me go on to check x minus 3 whole square is equal to 4 which gives me x minus 3 is either 2 or minus 2 now x can either be 5 or be 1 so 5 minus 3 in any case the value of the expression that i will get is 1 plus 5 minus 3 whole square so this one minute if it was equal to 16 this does not give me a value of 5 i am extremely sorry people if it is 7 7 minus 3 whole square is 16 so 1 plus 1 this gives me a value of 2 this gives me a value of 2 of course both of them are prime life is chill here i will get a uh, value of 5 5 minus 3 is 2 square 16 by 4 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so i get value of 5 i get value of 5 both of them are acceptable the last case would be x minus 3 whole square is equal to 1 so x minus 3 is equal to 1 or minus 1 so x is equal to 4 or 2 in either case, the value of the expression will turn out to be 17. And therefore, all six of these cases are acceptable. Answer has to be option C. I've gone ahead and done this in much greater detail than I had earlier anticipated or wanted to. Because people said, uh, as in the initial feedback came back was that uh, we need to have the cases shown for better understanding hopefully this entire journey made sense to you otherwise as soon as you reach this point x minus 3 square can be 16 4 or 1 if you place it here you know three acceptable cases have come and because it is a square there will be two every case will have a negative version also so there will be six total cases you can directly plug in six total cases from there by counting every case individually i've tried to show that which those which will be those six particular cases okay next one find the number of trailing zeros at the end of the product of the first 50 terms of the series 4 10 16 22 okay now when people look at this series people look at the series especially those brains that have been by made biased by algebra will they will see it as an ap people who are thinking of this like a number system will see this is a table of six starting at four Usually the table of 6 starts at 6, you have 6, 12, 18, every subsequent term comes after a gap of 6. This is a table of 6 starting at 4 and therefore it is not difficult to process. Let's see, it says there are 50 terms in this series. If there are 50 terms in this series, if there are 50 terms in this series and because this is simply a table of 6, can I say the 50th term, the first term is 6 into 1 minus 2. The second term is 6 into 2 minus 2. The third term is 6 into 3 minus 2. So the last term is 6 into 50 minus 2. Last term will be 298. These are the 50 terms. Okay. We have to find out trailing zeros. Trailing zeros or zeros at the end are identified by number of twos that are present and number of fives that are present. So if we have taking the product of this series, hopefully you can see twos are not restricted. Twos are available in abundance. We have lots of twos available. We have lots and lots of twos available. What will be restricted will be presence of fives. So let us look at where do we get presence of fives. The first number where a five would be present is 10. And now see, 
wherever the next number lies where i have a 5 wherever the next number lies where i have a 5 it will come after some jumps of 5 and it also has to be present in this series it also has to be present in this series in which we are taking jumps of 6 so let's call this number n from 10 to n you can also reach in jumps of 5 and you can also reach in jumps of it can i say gap between 10 and the next required number will be of 30 the gap between the next number and 10 can be covered in jumps of 5 and can also be covered in jumps of 6 therefore the next uh, such number will come after a gap of 30 or the next such number is going to be 40 and once you've identified the two terms because we are only going up till 298 we can happily list out all the numbers we've got 70 100 130 160 190 220 250 and 280 we've got all the numbers that have a 5 in them because we need trailing zeros and now that we have all the numbers simply count how many fives you'll get you'll get one from this number you'll get one from this number you'll get one from this number but this is 5 square into something So you will get two fives from here. You will get one from this number, one from this one sixty, one from one ninety, one from two twenty. But two fifty will give you one twenty five into two. So this will give you three fives. You will get one from this number, one two three four five six seven eight eleven and two. All together, we get thirteen fives. And therefore, the answer to this question is option C. hopefully you learned something from this that will be all okay bye